Since June the 16th, when South African troops and police opened fire on a peaceful school children's demonstration, the white government has presided over the largest massacre of its black population since South Africa came into existence. Hundreds of blacks have died, thousands have been wounded, but the white prime minister says there is no crisis. Killings started in Soweto, the huge black township outside Johannesburg. On June the 16th, Soweto's school children gathered in protest against the introduction of compulsory teaching in Afrikaans, the main dialect of the ruling white minority. They met dogs, tear gas and bullets. The schoolboy who led that day's protest was 19-year-old Tietzi Mashinini. All of a sudden, they just went out of their cars and came advancing towards us. Uh, the first white policeman threw a tear gas. It was the first time we saw a tear gas can. We didn't know even what it was. So when we saw it emitting smoke, we dispersed. And when we came back, we came back again. Maybe we thought they would talk to us through a loudspeaker or something like that. Uh, all of a sudden, the, the, first, the, the same policeman who threw te the tear gas canister opened fire on the students. I was with Hector Peterson when he was shot. The boy who was in that picture uh, where a boy was carrying. Uh, he was the first student I saw going down. I saw him being shot on the head and he fell down. Uh, I could not believe it. I saw a boy of about 11 going down under police fire. I could not believe it. Apparently, when Hector was shot, the students ran back. And I was left with Hector and a girl. Uh, I was feeling scared and I wanted to run away too. And this policeman was aiming his gun at Hedka again, wanting to finish him off. And this girl stood in front of Hedka and told the policeman in Afrikaans that skid for me, shoot for me. And uh, the policeman uh, deviated his aim and shot in the air. And then we took that uh, Hedka and gave him to some boys and they took him to the car, which uh, appeared in those pigs in the UBJ bulletin. Hector Peterson was 13 years old. Hundreds of blacks were swiftly arrested, including Mrs. Oshadi Pekati, mother of four and national president of South Africa's YWCA. There was so much noise the whole night, and we could hear that there was noise in the police station too. Everybody was kept moving. But what the sort kind, of noise? What, what, what? You know, the kind of noise that sort of displayed an atmosphere of jubilation, you know, a Christmas Eve or a New Year's Eve. But by daybreak, there was no cause for jubilation. The streets and the mortuaries were strewn with dead. Most of them were children. This is how it was reported last week by John Fielding of the This Week team for British television. The South African Prime Minister, John Forster, still says after hundreds have died in the past three months, there is no crisis. But this was the